The Costa Rican government signed a controversial decree that establishes the vaccination against the COVID as mandatory for public sector workers and empowers private employers all across the country to demand it from their employees. So we're talking a pretty significant situation that is taking place in the Central American nation. Considering that the government of President Carlos Alvarado, uh, who was the one along with Health Minister Daniel Salas that signed this controversial decree, so this government basically decided to, to take the major step in the COVID issue. After all, basically there is not a single government in Latin America that has taken this kind of measure to combat the COVID pandemic. Of course, this situation started uh, a couple of weeks ago when, when the health minister, Daniel Salas, said in a statement that this was going to happen, that the government was going to sign this decree which was going to be executed on Friday. So once Salas made these comments, there were pretty significant prote protests all across the country demanded individual freedoms, individual liberty. So protesters in Costa Rica essentially claim that this decision violates their individual freedom considering that they are the ones who have to choose whether to take the vaccine or not. On the other hand, a pretty significant situation of this protest were essentially the fact that many private employers were part of this protest because they believe that the government shouldn't, shouldn't dictate anything to them. They truly believe that their private businesses should remain private and they are the ones who can decide what actions to take on this particular issue. Of course, this is a pretty delicate subject that falls directly into this dichotomy of whether obligate the, the population to take the vaccine or not, or let that the people itself decide whether they should put the vaccine, the vaccine or not. Of course, it is worth noticing that this decision by the Costa Rican government came after the numbers and the COVID statistics of September, which were quite surprising because Costa Rica has been uh, one of the top nations in Latin America in terms of managing the COVID pandemic. Uh, they have been doing pretty well so far and there hasn't been any, any sort of health crisis, social crisis, or even an economic crisis whatsoever, which is quite different in is quite different in comparison with many other nations all across the region. But the thing is that the September statistic represented the worst month of this country since the pandemic started. There were more deaths than ever, and there were more positive cases of COVID of infections than than ever before since the pandemic started. So. This situation prompted the center-left government to sign this controversial decree that will we'll definitely get to the news um, on the next few days and the next few weeks, considering that it's going to be on Friday when it's going to be executed. So many believe that this could prompt some kind of social and political crisis in Costa Rica, considering the fact that many people are going to protest and on social media there are many people organizing protests against the government and, and against this decree. But the truth is, this could be the shape of things to come in Latin America because Costa Rica, the Costa Rican government decided to take this step, this step and it's quite possible that many other governments across the region take similar measures to fight against the COVID pandemic. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.